Hi friends, welcome to Polish Mama Cooks. During summer, we tend to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables than during other seasons. And today I want to show you a beautiful soup. It's a cold soup called Chłodnik in Polish. Chłodny means cool. And I would like to show you how to make a fruit cool soup, which in Polish will be Owocowy Chłodnik. To be exact, I'm going to use some strawberries and even some watermelon. I want to show you how to make two of them. One will be the traditional way, the way I remember my grandma made it, and one will be vegan and a bit modern. So let's start by peeling. The strawberries it might take a while but you know this is something that you have to do when you work with strawberries for the traditional soup I'm gonna use kefir and here I'm using a strawberry kefir but you can also use a regular natural one the way I remember it it was served with pasta so I'm using rotini here but you can use whatever pasta you want also you will need some ginger so the easiest way to peel ginger is actually with a spoon and I'm also gonna use some fresh mint so I just roll it and then just chop it so it's perfect for garnish but also to add while cooking the traditional soup I'm gonna cook my strawberries but instead of cooking them with a bit of water I'm adding some rum for some more flavor I'm also adding agave syrup and a half a teaspoon of ginger and a bit of mint. I'm gonna let it cook for about five to ten minutes and then mix it all together with a hand blender. If you ever find yourself in a Polish kitchen and someone asks you to pass them a giraffe, giraffa, this blender is what they're gonna be looking for put together the final ingredients to make the soup. You mix the kefir and also the strawberry mousse that you made. Mix it very well together. When it's well mixed, you're gonna plate it and then add the pasta, of course, the cooked pasta. Garnish everything with a bit of mint and some chopped strawberries and here it is zupa truskawkowa z makarone in english strawberry soup with pasta for the vegan soup besides the strawberries i also used some watermelon and here I think the seedless watermelon will make your job much more easier. You're gonna need about two cups, just roughly chopped. I also cooked some polenta and add to it chia seeds instead of the pasta that I serve for the traditional version. I used my stand blender to mix and blend all the fruits together, so the strawberries and the watermelon. I used with it oatmeal milk and added some ginger for some spiciness and a bit of mint. I'm gonna blend it all together. I think it needs a bit of sugar, so I'm gonna add a bit of agave syrup. And to make it more fluffy and colder quicker, I'm gonna add a few ice cubes. Boom, boom. And then mix it one more time. And finally, I'm gonna plate it. So first, I'm gonna put the polenta and chia seeds mix at the bottom and then pour my strawberry watermelon soup around the bowl. Everything has to be garnished, of course, with some fresh strawberries. 
and a bit of mint. And there they are, two perfect strawberry soups for hot summer days. Thank you for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed those two recipes. Please give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. That really helps my channel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.